So recently I made some Python scripts to help me find problems and optimize my projects that I'm working on. I thought I'd put this out for free so everybody can use it. The scripts I made don't edit anything, they only log stuff. Uh, and I thought I'd give you a little overview before I show you how you can use it. So basically all these buttons here, and each button does something different. Log static meshes with no collision. If we click on it, it's gonna generate a notepad file which has a list of all the static meshes in your project that have no collision. So here you can see we've got 18 assets that don't have any collision. And even just straight away looking at this, you could tell that, you know, your floor mesh should probably have collision in most cases. And that's kind of the idea of how these guys work. So it's a really easy setup and I'll show you now. So in my example, I'm going to do it in a new project, but you can do it in your own project. Currently, uh, probably only going to work in 4.26. I'm going to go game, third person, new project. Make a new project, create it. So we need to turn some plugins on for the Python scripts to actually work. So we're going to go up to edit plugins. I'm going to roll down to the bottom here, look for scripting. And then we're going to turn on two things. We're going to turn on the Python module itself. Uh, just gives you a warning saying that it's experimental, basically. Hit yes. And we're also going to turn on editor scripting utilities. So if we turn both of those on, then we need to restart. So we're going to restart. Okay, so that's the first bit done, nice and easy. So to get the scripts, we need to go to GitHub and if you type in CB game dev into the top here, this is what we're looking for. And if we jump into this, so this is the basically the scripts, we're gonna go code, download as a zip. And then if we open that up, and go down inside that, basically we're looking for this Python folder. So click on the Python folder and copy that. Then if you go back to our project, Right click on any asset and then go show in Explorer. And that's basically gonna open up where the project is. We need to go back up to the content folder. And if we right click paste into here, this Python folder needs to be specifically under the content for it to work. But now we can go back to our project. If we open it up properly, you'll see it's got the Python folder in here. So the scripts are in here, but don't show up in Unreal. So this is the editor utility widget. So if you right click and run editor utility widget, that's the UI and that's it. Now we can do exactly what I did in the example initially, click on the buttons and then it shows the stuff that is either potentially problematic or could be optimized. I'm gonna run through quickly what each of these mean and what they do, but that's it. Uh, enjoy, I hope you find them useful. So quick run through, log static meshes with no collision is gonna bring up any static mesh that doesn't have a collision. Basically I found this one useful for finding stuff that should have collision. So for example, you could look and see floor should probably have collision straight away. Your walls should probably have collision. Log static meshes with no LODs. So this will be any any static mesh that's missing LODs. You know, most things in your game should have a LOD of some form. Log static meshes with X or more materials. So this is basically used to find things that are greedy, that have multiple IDs. As you can see, we have nothing in the project with three or more materials. We do have a bunch with two. You know, two's not bad. Log static meshes with X or more UV channels. One will be your UV, normal UVs, two will be your baked light normally. Um, but when you start hitting more than two, unless you're using it for something specific, you probably don't need it. So potential to optimize there. Log unused projects assets. So if we run this, it's basically gonna look through all the assets in the project and find things that have zero references. So aren't being used in any levels or aren't being referenced by any other blueprints. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of stuff here. The reason that these are log scripts and they don't actually edit your project is because, for example, with this, you might find that actually you're gonna use the female mannequin later on, uh, but you're not currently using it. So an auto script would delete it, but we, uh, I leave that down to your discretion. Log redirects, don't have any currently, but basically if you're using source control and you're moving stuff around, you can get redirect problems. Log skeletal meshes with no LODs, same kind of thing, but for skeletal meshes. So the female mannequin has no LODs, so that'd be worth doing. Log skeletal meshes missing physics assets. This is probably quite a rare one, but if you have a skeletal mesh that doesn't have a physics asset plugged in, they'll mess with your shadows and stuff like that. Log skeletal meshes with X or more materials. So the same as a static mesh, but this time for skeletal. For finding assets that have a large amount of material IDs and thus is unoptimized. So in the sound section, we've got these three. Sound cues with missing attenuation. So this is going to come back with anything that has no attenuation asset plugged in, but also doesn't have any override on. And uh, that's the same with concurrency. If there's no concurrency concurrency asset plugged in, but and there's no override set locally, they'll flag in here. Missing sound classes. So this one's slightly different. Basically, it's going to tell you if you don't have a sound class asset plugged in, or if you're using one that's from the engine. So I think the default engine one is called master or something like that. Generally, 
you want to bring assets into your project or make your own. So with the textures, we've got non-square textures. So non-square textures generally aren't good for optimization because it can't be compressed. Log textures with size. Basically, I made this one so you can catch textures which might be bigger than you, than you need. So for example, the 128 by 128 is probably not really that much of a problem. But if we come up and we go up to, say, 512, you can see we've got more textures. You know, these all seem probably all right. But really, it's for the large ones. So here we got the 2048 by 2048. And this project has quite a lot of 2048s, 85, 2048 textures, which you probably wouldn't need. You know, a lot of these could be a lot smaller. And then last section, uh, materials using translucency. Translucency is expensive. So, you know, you could take a look at these materials here and see whether any of them could actually be masked opacity uh, or, you know, they just don't even need to be translucent at all. Next up, we've got using two-sided materials. Two-sided materials could be more expensive. So just interesting to see, you know, you might find, you know, the bushes are camera facing, so they don't need the second side. Easy win optimization is possibly there. And then we've got the last one, log materials, missing physical materials. You know, this could be a useful one to catch things. In this, in this example project, there's 74 materials that don't have physical materials plugged in. And if you're doing footstep sounds, you know, your basic floor should probably have the right material plugged in. Or, you know, if you're if you're doing a shooting game and you're shooting the walls, uh, you probably want to make sure, you know, these materials have the right physical material in so they make the right sound when they get hit. So like I said before, I made these to help find problems I didn't know existed and to find places that I could optimize my projects. They're free. Give them a go. I hope you find them useful. If you have any ideas, give me a shout. Uh, maybe I can add to the tool.